Joni Greggins and welcome to 12 Minutes to a Super Stomach. Now before we begin, here's a few things that you should do. You should have comfortable clothing on so that you can move. Be in a well-ventilated room and have good flooring. I mean, I have advanced aerobic spring flooring, but maybe you don't. So you should have a mat or something to protect your back. Now if you haven't seen a doctor for about a year, please see one before you begin this or any other exercise program. Did you know that the stomach is the most unhealthy place to carry fat? That's right, because fat here, here gets in the way of digestion and does not help you assimilate food. Besides, it does not look too good in clothing, right? So doing these exercises plus watching your diet will really improve that air of your body. So enough said, let's start right up with a warm up right now. You wanna start with your feet apart, abdominals are in, Tighten through the gluteals, good posture, pulling yourself up nice and tall. You're gonna go right and left. The elbow comes up, nice and high towards the ear, just let yourself relax. The main thing is to stabilize through the hips. Don't move that area too much, bring the arms up. Loosen up the waistline and breathe. Exhale and inhale. Toes can be slightly turned out, but relax here. Doesn't matter how far over you go, the main thing is just to keep the abdominals in, gluteals tightened. Now you want to bring your elbows nice and close to the sides of the body and twist the top of the body. Notice the palms are up like I'm holding a tray. That's right. A tray of raw vegetables, of course. Keep going, twisting side to side. Hips are stabilized. Pulling into the abdominals. Breathing. You're working the internal and external obliques. It sort of hangs over your waistline, right? Keep going side to side, stabilize at the hips. If you want to make a fist, that's fine too. Keep breathing. And try and keep stills at the hip area. Again, left and right. If you want to, your head can follow. Up to you, but keep moving and breathe. Okay, same kind of movement, except you bend over through the waistline and keeping the elbows close to the body. Start aiming towards your knees. Again, working the obliques, hold in through the abdominal. Keep going and twist. Tighten through the gluteals and breathe. You want to stabilize the hips. Your legs should not be moving. Neck is relaxed. Left and right, keep going. Best you can, keep moving. Come on. Again, and twist. close to the body. You'll notice a lot of times when you go to gyms, they'll give you a stick or a pole and you'll do this kind of a movement. So by keeping the elbows close to the body, adds a little resistance. It's really effective for the midriff. Internal, external obliques. Keep going and twist. Palms can be up. Stabilize those hips, don't let them move. Keep going, and twist, and twist. Serving the hors d'oeuvres here, come on now. Elbows close, keep breathing. One of the best abdominal exercises is just to hold your stomach in. I know, so simple, but how many of us do it? Keep doing about three more, this is one. Two, and three. Come down to the ground, 
Onto your floor. We're going to start with a basic crunch for the midriff. Elbows close to the head and lift it up. Now you exhale up, inhale back. If this is not comfortable for you, cross your hands over your chest. If your neck gets tired, relax a minute and come back strong. Now let's slow it down a little bit. Here we go. Take it up and down. Exhale up, working the midriff. Lower back flat. And exhale. Again. Keep going one. Exhale up, inhale back. Now we're going to take it a right and left. Same thing. Up to tempo. If this is too difficult for you, then extend the hand. Same thing. And exhale. Working the obliques. And breathe. Exhale. And exhale. Lower back flat. Again. Now, if your hands behind the head, slow it down. And lift. So we're slowing it down so we really feel the movement. And lift. Two more. This is one. And two. Bring those knees in back and flat. You can point or flex your feet, whatever is comfortable, and reach towards your knees. As soon as you extend your legs up like this, then you're working the transverse or the lower abdominal. So you exhale up. Exhale. And exhale. A lot of times people have trouble keeping the straight leg. It's okay to bend them slightly. Anything that's they're still straight through the thigh area. Now slow with down. Take it up. And exhale. And lift to tempo. Keep going. And exhale. Again. Now, same thing, but you're going to go right and left. Take it right and left. Lower back still stays on the ground. You still breathe. You exhale and inhale. But now what you've done is you've added exercising the internal and external obliques. Or that area, that old tire in the middle. That's right. Keep going. And exhale. Want to make this more difficult? And put the hands behind the head and... Elbow towards the knee. Legs are extended, back is flat. And breathe. And keep it going. Come on, now right. And left. Two more. This is one. And two. Hug those knees for just a minute. We're going to do a U-sit-up. Elbows come towards the knees and then out. So it's in and out and in. Be sure to lift the upper body as well. So it's exhale. This is for the midriff and transverse stomach muscles. Again. Relax for just a second or so. Get your breath and rejoin us. Keep going. So it's lift. And lift. Remember to breathe. Two more. This is one. And two. 
Now we do a hip rocker. Hands are down to the side. Knees come in and in and in. So what you're trying to do, that's right, folks, is lift the heaviest part of our anatomy, the old gluteals, with the transverse stomach muscles. Yes, we know you have to be strong here. So it's lift and down. So it's exhale, exhale, and leave the lower back down. Keep going. Again, you don't roll all the way up to the middle back. It's basically just the lower part of the back. And squeeze in with the abdominals. You can lift that thing. Keep going. If you can't come this far, you're just doing this. The exercise is still effective. You can feel it. All you just press those muscles. Two more. This is one and two. Okay, now we're going to put the hands behind the back. Flex the feet. Press out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Do your best. Exhale. Exhale. You can't get the legs all the way out. Don't worry about it. Do the best you can. But they only come out this far. All right. Keep going. Working the lower stomach. If your neck hurts, which happens a lot of times, you're starting to exercise, especially the abdominals, turn the neck back. Relax the head and still press out, working the lower abdominals. Squeeze those lower abdominals. Keep going. And press. And press. If you want to make it a little more difficult, bring the legs up higher and do the same thing. The main thing is the lower back stays on the ground. Two more. This is one and two. Hug those legs for just a minute and then let them out. Extend them. Hands behind the head. Go up and down. This, is, this uses the midriff and the lower stomach. So you look at your toes. Hello, toes. Now, if you can, Try and leave your shoulders up and make smaller movements. Up. A little harder. This is too hard for me. Go back to the other one. It's slower. Like up and down. Lower back down. And breathe. That stomach is flatter already. Keep going. Take it one and two. Lie back, bring those knees in. It's the first thing you want to do when you want to press down with the lower back and press those knees in. Just press. All right, good work. Now, to get a lot of results, but you do have to watch both your diet and do this tape at least five times a week. And you want to be sure to cool down when you're through and release the vertebrae. So what you do is you bring one knee in, and then the other knee in. All this releases the back and relaxes the back. And then both legs in. And bring them down. And then you can also roll on your spine. And bring your legs in one direction and release. Main thing when you do stomach exercises is to really relax the back after because the back and the abdominals are best friends. perfect way to end your workout after you're through stretching is to take a hot tub or a warm bath. Either one of these will help you relax and also prevent muscle soreness. And you can do it all in just about 10 minutes. and welcome to 12 minutes of high energy aerobics. Now before you start, you want to be sure you have comfortable clothing on, a well-ventilated room, proper aerobic shoes, and good flooring. I'm on 
the advanced aerobic spring flooring, but be sure you have something that will cushion you as you bounce up and down. You know, aerobics is the best way to shape up your cardiovascular system and also to burn calories. You want to be sure when you're doing them, though, you roll from the ball of the foot back into the heel, okay? Don't stay up on the toes, because that can cramp up the calf muscles. Also, if you've got a lot of weight to lose, take it easy. And if you haven't seen a physician for a year or more, please check in with them, especially with aerobics, to be sure this program's okay or any exercise program. You might want to take your heart rate when you're through to see if you've worked up to target. And we will have that, if you'll notice, enclosed in the video jacket. So if you've done a little bit of warm-up, we hope you have by sort of a little bit walking around your room. But right now, we're going to start with a light jog in place. Do your best. And when you're jogging, you want the body to be upright. And go from the ball of the foot back to the heel. Take it easy. If you want to keep it low, you can. Then you can sort of loosen up here. And if you want to work up to your target heart rate. Keep going. Now add the arms and press it up. Way up. As soon as you activate the arms, what happens is that the heart rate accelerates. Yes, that's right. More calories. Keep going. Press out. Again, remember, don't step on those toes. And reach. Way up. And reach. Remember to breathe. Jumping jack is fine. Watch out with those kicks now. Kick anything over in that house. Keep going. And press it out. Two more. A one. And two. Now take it out. Heel. Knee. Kick it up. Heel. And way up. Out. Come on. Again. Heel, knee, and kick it up. Kick as high as you can where it's comfortable. It's okay to go. Oh. This is fine. Two more. This is one. Last time. Now twist it two times. Down to the heels as well. One and two. Object here is really to throw that hip forward. Wolf the waistline as well. Keep going. Singles. Opposition arms. Come on.
this is too much for you, go back to elbow to the knee. Different patterns are to give you variation, and let's face it, cut the board though, right? But also you want to be able to do these things, so if this is too hard, touch the knee. Keep going. Dizzy, slow it down. That's okay, keep. But keep moving, don't ever just stop it. Keep. Now back to a jog. Ah! How you doing? Come on. From the toe back to the heel.
And then as you become more fit, cardiovascularly, back to back it. That's right, 24 minutes, three or four times a week. That's all you need. Plus proper diet, and of course, some general toning exercises. So you want to cool down, keep the head above the heart. So just releasing. Nice and tall, take deep breaths. Other side. Nothing will make you feel more positive or feel better and cardiovascular work. When you're tired, nothing will perk you up more. So keep stretching for another three to four minutes. way to end your workout after you're through stretching is to take a hot tub or a warm bath. Either one of these will help you relax and also prevent muscle soreness. And you can do it all in just about 10 minutes. 